Let's learn about volcanoes in Hawaii. The Hawaiian island chain rests on the Pacific tectonic plate, which moves northwest about four inches every year. A hot spot is a weakened spot in the oceanic crust where magma can rise up, forming volcanoes which eventually become islands. The Hawaiian hotspot is believed to be about 50 miles in diameter. As the Pacific plate moves, the hotspot continues to create new volcanoes, giving birth to the island chain. Because of the weight of these large volcanic islands pressing down on the plate beneath them, the islands are slowly sinking. The youngest and largest, Big Island, is sinking at a rate of 1 to 2 inches per decade, whereas older, more stable Oahu is no longer measurably sinking. There are three types of volcano, cinder cones, composite volcanoes, and shield volcanoes. Cinder cones normally form from a single eruption that can last for months and do not generally get more than a thousand feet tall. Steam can continue to rise from them post-eruption for more than a year. Shield volcanoes are helpful in the creation of large islands. Insulated lava tubes allow pahoehoe lava to travel farther distances before cooling off. Mauna Loa and Kilauea are examples of shield volcanoes. Volcanic rift zones are areas where the pyroclastic debris is loose enough that lava can occasionally escape via a fissure eruption while the volcano is still active. As magma nears the surface where pressure is lower, volcanic gases escape the magma, causing bubbles to form and lightening the magma, which can then explode when it reaches the surface, becoming lava. Molten lava in Hawaii has been measured to be as hot as 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot even by volcanic standards. Two important types of lava to remember while on the Hawaiian Islands are the a'a and the pa'hoi'hoi. A'a lava is sharp and full of hardened gas bubbles and is made from cooler lava than pa'hoi'hoi. Pahoehoe lava is smooth and runs in ribbons, and can have an iridescent sheen to it when fresh. Both types of lava have the same chemical composition, which is mainly basalt. When lava enters the ocean, explosions of steam cause tiny particles to break off and become sand. Black sand beaches are the youngest beaches because the newly created basalt sand has not yet been swept away by the ocean waves, a process which takes only a few hundred years. Likewise, green sand beaches are made of grains of olivine, which is heavier than ash and takes longer to be washed away after recent volcanic activity. Since Big Island is currently above the hotspot, it is home to the most volcanic activity. It has five visible volcanoes and one sunken one. Mauna Loa is the largest active volcano on Earth. It has a diameter reaching 90 miles and a height of more than 31,000 feet. Hualalai is beautiful and stands at 8,300 feet tall. Mauna Kea is the highest Hawaiian volcano at 13,796 feet. Kohala is the oldest volcano of the bunch and last erupted 100,000 years ago. Lo'ihi is the submerged volcano and will likely not rise above sea level for anywhere from 50,000 to 250,000 more years. Perhaps the most interesting volcano on the island is Kilauea. Let's go into some details. Kilauea is the youngest volcano above sea level in Hawaii. 95% of its landscape is less than 1,500 years old. Traditionally, Kilauea is the home of Pele, the Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes and fire. 
Kilauea is one of the most active volcanoes on Earth. and has erupted more than 60 times in the last century. The lava flow has been almost continuous since 1983. Because many people live near Kilauea's east rift zone, the property damage from eruptions have been catastrophic. Towns and beaches such as Kalapana, Kaimu, and Kapoho have been destroyed by lava. Thanks for watching!